It feels like China is already living in the future. Right now, hundreds of robots are being built there, from terrifyingly realistic androids to multi-armed factory mutants. And we're about to show you the wildest ones. Meet the QUGV Wolf. This mechanical beast was first unveiled at the Zhuhai Air Show as the next evolutionary step for ground combat systems. Weighing in at about 70 kilograms, it delivers everything you'd expect from a modern military robo-dog. It understands voice commands and boasts excellent all-terrain capabilities confidently sprinting off-road and easily climbing steep stairs. But its real power lies in pack operations. A squad of four acts as a single organism, synchronously storming stairwells, changing speeds, and reacting instantly to commands like halt or forward. What's more, every wolf in the pack has its own specific role. While one conducts reconnaissance and another carries supplies, a third acts as an assault unit, equipped with a real automatic rifle on its back. Of course, there are limits. The battery lasts for three hours hours, and the operational radius is around 2 kilometers. But even with these limitations, the QUGV Wolf is already in service. In the summer of 2025, these robots were spotted in official Chinese army drills, working side by side with infantry. Meanwhile in Shenzhen, robots are already trying on police uniforms. Developers at Engine AI are building machines that don't just follow a script, but literally sense their surroundings. Their smaller model, PM01, is already patrolling the streets, standing 140 centimeters tall, this little guy has a terrifyingly human-like gait, but it has superpowers too. Its torso rotates 320 degrees, perfect for tight spaces, and it's almost impossible to knock over, stabilizing instantly after any shove. But the company's main premiere is the T-800. The name is no accident. This is a machine for heavy industry, and likely, warfare. Recently, the Chinese army demonstrated a powerful bipedal robot to foreign specialists that mimicked combat moves in real time via motion capture. And the T-800 can do exactly that. This is a serious android, 170 centimeters tall, 75 kilograms in weight, with a body made of reinforced aluminum magnesium alloys. It packs 29 powerful actuators and dexterous hands with tactile sensors. The robot scans the world through a LiDAR system, creating a full 3D map around itself. And the most amazing part? Rumors say the price of this Terminator will be just around $25,000. However, a robot doesn't need to be a military Terminator to scare us with its resemblance to humans. Xpeng proved this in the fall when they literally broke the internet with their next-gen IRN presentation. The new version moved so naturally that viewers suspected a fake. To prove there wasn't an actor inside, engineers had to cut open the robot's casing right on stage. And indeed, it's pure technology inside. The Android features a fully flexible spine, bionic muscles, and an incredible 82 degrees of freedom. Their special pride is the hands. Engineers manage to keep human proportions while packing 22 movable joints into miniature palms. The brains are three Turing AI chips with 3,000 tops of power, enough for the robot to hold a meaningful conversation and make its own decisions, not just follow a script. All of this is powered by revolutionary solid-state batteries. Xpeng promises to start mass production within a year. Sounds ambitious, but don't forget, this is the same company that already made cars fly, so seeing iron on the streets is just a matter of time. But if Xpeng imitates human movement, the company EX Robots is obsessed with our appearance. Welcome to the true masters of the uncanny valley. Here they don't just create machines, they create doppelgangers. Flexible silicone skin, a complex system of facial muscles, and frightening detailing. From unique palm lines to goosebumps on the skin. Want your own clone? Easy! Just undergo a 3D scan, wait a couple of weeks, and pay about $300,000. In return, you get an Android that tracks your face with cameras and uses AI to perfectly synchronize its facial expressions and lip movements with speech. For now, these are custom pieces for museums and shows. But stepping into their headquarters in Dalian, where dozens of such people stand and move among visitors, it's hard to remain indifferent. Is this the pinnacle of technology or a nightmare? Now, this guy definitely won't scare you. Instead, he'll cook you dinner and entertain the cat. A Streetbot S1 looks like he stepped right out of a cyberpunk manga. Standing about 175 centimeters tall and weighing 45 kilograms, his whole body boasts 49 degrees of freedom. But the main thing here isn't the look, it's the speed. He is faster, more precise, and has more endurance than a human. While we make one move, he makes three. A Streetbot's hands accelerate accelerate up to 10 meters per second. Such a pace is physically impossible for an ordinary person. The secret lies in advanced AI and imitation learning. 
The robot simply watches human actions and copies them with surgical precision. In demos, he virtuously flips waffles in a pan, carefully pours wine into glasses, and even plays musical instruments, smoothly, without jerks or pauses. Yes, for now, it's just an experimental prototype, not a mass product. But looking at him, you realize, the era of slow and clumsy robots is officially over. If Astribot surprises with speed, Limex Dynamics decided to break the very logic of robot construction. Meet Tron 2, a machine that reinvented the concept of versatility. This isn't just a robot, it's a real transformer. It has no fixed form. There is only a smart torso to which you attach limbs like interchangeable modules in a construction set. Need a bipedal walker? Here you go. Need a fast wheeled robot? A couple of minutes to reassemble. Need a stationary worker for a conveyor belt? Mount the torso on a table and it's ready to work. One robot, three completely different states. And fifth, the infrastructure on which all this should fly. It was stated at CES that the next generation platform, Vera Rubin, is already in full-scale production. Meaning NVIDIA is pushing not only with software and models, but also with the hardware that will feed this physical AI with calculations. In simple terms, NVIDIA stated at CES, we are building the factory of physical AI, and the company plans to cover all its needs with its own products. But the question is, will the whole industry want to depend on NVIDIA? My DIA group went even further. They decided, why give a robot two hands if you can give it six? That's how Miro U appeared. It's a real factory mutant on wheels. Its torso rotates 360 degrees, and its limbs work separately. The lower manipulators hold heavy parts, while the upper ones perform delicate assembly. It looks a bit creepy, but it's effective. The robot is already working at a washing machine factory, and engineers claim this Shiva increases conveyor efficiency by 30%. Actually, the idea that a robot should be better than a human, not just copy one, is dominating Chinese factories right now. A bright example is iSageBot from Shanghai Sage Intelligent Technology. With a modest height of 1.5 meters, this sturdy bot weighs nearly 300 kilograms and possesses an insane 52 degrees of freedom. Thanks to a six-camera system, it sees everywhere at once. And what about robots in public transport? If you find yourself in the Shenzhen Metro, don't be surprised to see these guys. Robot couriers independently enter train cars, politely let passengers pass, and deliver goods for the 7-Eleven chain located right in the subway. This isn't a one-off experiment, but a whole network of 41 machines. A single AI manages the entire swarm. It knows train schedules, station crowds, and distributes orders so the robots don't interfere with the flow of 9 million passengers. Cyberpunk level logistics! But if robots leave the metro for the streets, who will regulate them? Other robots, of course. In Shanghai, the Little Tiger, a modified Unitree G1, is already on duty at intersections. It sees for 100 meters using cameras and lidars, analyzes traffic jams, and changes the traffic rhythm. In test mode, the robot has already monitored intersections in the Pudong Business District, and drivers obey it no worse than a live inspector. And in Hangzhou, they went even further and put a full-sized android hang number one on post. This 180 centimeter giant can't make arrests yet, but it already actively blows the whistle at violators, and soon it will get a language model to speak with pedestrians. A smart camera instantly spots a motorcyclist without a helmet or a pedestrian on a red light, and the robot immediately issues a voice warning. Locals, by the way, like the new sheriff. Robots are penetrating our homes, too. Tech giant Tencent unveiled Xiao Wu, the ideal caregiver for the elderly. It has unique leg wheels. On a flat floor, it rolls quickly, but before stairs or a threshold, it stands up and walks. But the main feature is sensitivity. The robot literally feels a person's weight through its skin, helping the elderly stand up from a chair or walk to the bathroom without the risk of falling. For navigation, the robot uses low-latency SLAM, LiDAR, and an inertial module. It builds a three-dimensional map in real time and confidently bypasses obstacles. It monitors the pulse, reports health status to relatives, and predicts the user's needs. And when help isn't needed, Xiao Wu can simply be folded up and put in a closet, like an ironing board. Speaking of household chores, Hire, whose fridge might be in your kitchen right now, showed off the terminator of chores, Heva Haiwa. The idea sounds like a dream, a robot that cooks, cleans, and irons clothes for you. Standing 165 centimeters tall, with dexterous hands capable of reaching top shelves, and full integration into the smart home system, the robot directly talks to your oven or washing machine. For now, it's a prototype controlled by engineers, but Hire has already opened training centers 
years to teach this AI how to make soup and fold shirts just as well as a human. Does the sheer number of machines scare you? The Chinese have foreseen this too. To ensure people don't fear a machine uprising, they are getting accustomed to robots from kindergarten. Meet Kiko. This 40 centimeter toddler on tracks works as a teacher's assistant. It has a built-in camera and recognition system. Kiko understands where the child is, reacts to movements, and even adjusts tasks to the group's level. All this works through an internal AI module and a connection to educational platforms. Kiko tells fairy tales, conducts quests, and turns boring lessons into a game. Children in China are growing up perceiving the robot not as a threat, but as a friendly helper and teacher. And perhaps, this is the most far-sighted strategy of all. Which of these robots impressed you the most? The Combat Wolf or the Nanny for the Elderly? Let us know in the comments! And don't forget to subscribe and like the video so you don't miss the news of the future.